beautiful planner people welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video if you did you know that i am using um harriet wright designs kit this week and it's i think i'm gonna be bold and say my favorite planner kit i've ever seen i'm just obsessed with it my husband bought this for me for valentine's day um and i'm just i've been hoarding it since then because i just didn't want to use it because i wanted to just keep looking at it but that's not what it's for so i'm being strict with myself and i'm going to um use it for next week's spread so we're going from the 24th to the 30th of may i cannot believe may is nearly over what on earth is going on um but i just wanted to show you this and this is one of the examples of why i love harriet wright design so much there's just so much a gorgeous attention to detail especially with the foiling so let me show you what i mean um, this kit is the planner chic kit from harriet wright designs and if i take you oops up close for each of the boxes you can see here that there's some foiled washi in this little acrylic tray and it's actually foiled and here harriet has foiled the pen and the steam coming out of the cup it's just so adorable and then if we come down some we've got this gorgeous gold ribbon on that box um, obviously the script um, and the sparkly bits on the middle box there and then here like it's just a pack of foiled stickers and the stickers are actually foiled it's that kind of thing that makes me squeaky and it's you know rightly or wrongly something that just makes me super happy and um, this little hair clip foiled <laughs> and then here um, on this double box spread and I love a double box if it's if there's a double box I'm using it um, and I will buy that kit um, we've got the flowers sparkling there and then the little bow on the back of the laptop and I'm just I'm here for it that is exactly what I need in my life all the little attention to details with the foiling now Harriet Wright Designs is not a cheap shop it is my luxury go-to when I've got some money or I'm get, getting gifted something like if this was for Valentine's Day so you know I think this kit cost about 17 pounds and I wouldn't I can't spend that every week on a kit but every so often when it's a treat absolutely must get something from Harriet Wright Designs because she's incredible the planner is also from Harriet Wright Designs and I'm not on a PR team or anything like that but I just have to say it's just gorgeous so if you have not somehow checked out Harriet Wright Designs yet do so you won't regret it so that's the nine deco boxes then we don't lose any cuteness on the next page which is the um washi strip and the day covers absolutely stunning gold foil um it's just beautiful i just love everything about it and i know when i put this on the page i'm not going to love it as much as i wanted to because i just never love my own spreads um <laughs> as much as i love looking at other people's for some reason i don't tend to nail it like other people do but i am certainly going to love using it because it's just absolutely stunning little weekend banner as well then we have the half boxes and the quarter boxes with again some really beautiful choices for where the foiling is placed i'm just obsessed and then lastly we have here um some banners some more headers some little check boxes and some icons weekly checklist and then the fashion girl here um which i imagine is sort of an alternative to the fashion girl here on the front now accidentally when i ordered this i ordered an extra of the full box page i didn't mean to do this um but i'm glad i did because i know that i've got enough left over from other kits to use this again one week so i'm really glad i actually did do that but this is the kit and the only thing that it's missing and the only thing that i always say about the harriet wright designs kits for me that they are missing is the date dots because you're going to cover if you're going to use these you're going to cover up let's zoom in a little bit if you're going to use those you're going to cover up your dates if you have them this planner is dateless um but what i have got are these and these are from lily blossom designs and they are some gold foil although saying that i actually think i have some harriet wright designs gold day numbers let's have a look let me see i'm sure i saw some yesterday when i was flicking through this let's see this is my Harriet Wright Designs um, foiled bit. And there's some there, but they're purple. I thought they were little bows. Yeah, here. They are grey, though. Let's see. Let's have a little look. Mm -hmm. So, am I going to put that? No, I'm going to use the white ones. 
Okay, so the Lily Blossom Design ones, I'm going to use those. So to start off with then for this plan with me, I am going to go into a bit of a time lapse to save you watching me forever put in the day covers, the washi and the date dots. And then when I've done that, I'll come back and talk you through where I'm going to place everything else um, for this week's spread. So see you in a minute. Okie dokie. Well, we've got the excuse again, the squeaky chair, I say that every time. Uh, we have the date covers down, the date dots and the washi basics down. But then I just wanted to have a quick check because we've got one header there, one set of headers there. And so I've used that as a, as a header and then I might use this washi somewhere. So let's just have a quick look. Um, if I use that as a header, Let's put these in where we want them to go. So, let me think this week. I always get the weekend banner over um, here, obviously, with the double box. So, let's start there with the double box. And I actually think, mm, actually, I think I'm going to put the double box in the middle of the day. Um, no, I'll put it at the top. Let's get started as we mean to go on. So, they're so beautifully buttery smooth, these um, stickers. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed with them. Super buttery, really smooth. I think they're vinyl. I should check probably. Hang on. This is a really awkward angle for me to film looking very cluttered and messy isn't it here um because i can't really get to the desk properly which makes it for a bit of an uncomfortable fun with me but the sun is in a really awkward place today um so i'm having to i normally plan over here it's like a corner desk but the window is over there so if i do that then i'm going to have my back to the sun and it just doesn't work properly so okay let's get these headers put out so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do just enough to get all of the headers laid out and then i will be back i'll time lapse you again because i just know this is going to take me about six or seven minutes to do and it'll just be me waffling on at you so i'll do that on time lapse and then come back um again <laughs> okay beautiful is this kit i cannot get over it it's absolutely gorgeous so next up i'm going to put the rest of the boxes down i had to put a couple down so that i could figure out where the washi sat um i'm still creatively stunted guys this planner allows for so much creativity and i'm still doing the same layout almost identical just like the um ec I don't know why I can't get my head around doing something different, but I just, I'm stuck in my ways. So if you know of any creative people who are doing, using this planner and using it in different layouts, please tag me um, in their videos or let me know in the comments below who to go and watch because I really do wish I could do something different, but I can't, I'm stuck. Okay, just also found, I know I knew that they were there, didn't I? But I've used the washi instead, yes. Um, I use the washing instead because I just thought it varies it up a little bit and I really need to buy myself some tiny little scissors that don't have a curve because the edges of this washi that I'm having to cut is really stressing me out. So let's just pretend that it doesn't look so bad. Okay, let's crack on. This week that is um, ahead of us is the 24th to the 30th of May. I said before, I can't quite leave with that far into the year. It's unreal. There's my weekend banner. These here, I'm not going to need now, so I'm going to save these and I'm going to put them in my reusable sticker book, which I've bought very recently from Wendy Prince and have yet to open and put things into because I'm scared that I'm going to categorise it wrong or 
make you know five pages for boxes and then I need seven pages of boxes and it's not going to work so I'm having again doubts about myself on that but I really shouldn't I should just get it done so I'm going to try and do that and perhaps film what I do um and how I do it um and they're going to go in there so this Monday um is going to be well hang on let's stick the boxes on first and then we can figure out what's going on home sweet home this is really cute I'm gonna go so we've got one two three four five left and I'm gonna want one two three I think I'm gonna go up here on this Wednesday like that and then have two that day. I'm going to be planning on the Wednesday. Lots of more filming, editing, uploading, etc. etc. I'm going to pop this right in the middle of this box. Like that. Then over here, I'm going to go. This is gorgeous washi. It's so pretty. I should have done washi Wednesday actually, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'm going to. See how beautifully this peels up? just so stunning there we go so washy wednesday uh have we got any skinny boxes yeah i'm gonna mark down washy wednesday and i think on wednesday i'm gonna take because i don't really often do washy wednesday pictures on my instagram but i want to so i'm gonna um pop it this, this way i'm gonna take tons of pictures on wednesday of just washy and save it so that i have to have plenty to put on my Instagram. Right, right so I need that to go here at the top. So far, I'm obsessed with it still. I think it's beautiful. It'll be when I start writing on it that I'm going to fall out of love with it because I am useless. My handwriting's really bad and I just hate my I hate it, so I struggle. This one's going here. Like that, lovely. And then I have I have a blonde with a pale skin tone, and then I have sort of a dark brunette with a darker skin tone. This is my skin tone. This is more my hair color. I'm gonna go with the blonde because um, I like how light the spread is, and I was a bit dubious about that with the black screen, so I don't really want to add black hair in. So I just think it darkens the kit, especially with it both being on this side. So I'm going to pop this down the bottom here and then there we have it. All of the deco boxes gone. I'm obsessed. This is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to take this off now, take a picture of it and then carry on for each stage. I'm going to take a picture so that I can have plenty to share on Instagram when I decide which ones are going up. Um, because I know once I'm writing it, I won't want to take pictures because I don't think it'll look as good. Hang on. Right, so we've now got a nice lawnmower background noise, just in case, you know, if you're enjoying the peace and quiet or anything. Um, let's go through what's going to happen this week. Now, every day of this week, I'm going to have Mond uh, I'm going to have drop off and pick up for school. So I'll just make a note of that in the sidebar. Um, and I think... For the sidebar let's have a look what we're gonna go with i think i'm gonna pop this one because it's quite decorative um i think it will just be nice i don't think i really want to write on there so i think i'll just pop that up in this top box yeah it's really cute so that's where our notes are going to be and then i'll make a note here well i do could do pick up and drop off pick up drop off and do like little ticks but i mean i'm not going to forget to pick him up and drop him off on my touch wood please don't drinks myself can you imagine <laughs> has anyone done that has anyone forgotten their children at school um i imagine it happens um but luckily it hasn't happened to me just yet so fingers crossed now i feel like i need to set an alarm because i've drinks myself um no, I don't think I need to write pick up and drop off. So there's no little car or anything here. I'm just going to put in just one of these. 
cute little banners at the side here and make a note of pick up and drop off for the boys. Um, in fact, will these fit? No, I'm going to leave it there. Okay. So we've got pick up and drop off every day. This next week, I think I've mentioned it in my last videos, but just in case, um, just to clarify, I'm currently on maternity leave. I've gotten two months. Oh, it's actually going to be two months on this day. So I need to make a note in here to take his picture. Um, but two months old, um, by the time you're watching this, um, he's probably going to be two months old actually tomorrow when you're watching this because I think I'll upload this on Saturday. Um, it's currently the eight, uh, the 19th. I'm going to upload this on the 22nd. Um, so, yeah, two months old. Um, I'm at home now on maternity leave full time with my two months old and my almost two year old whilst my four year old's at school. So I pick up and drop off every day. Um, which I'll make a note of here. Then, one of the days in the week, I take my little fella, who is four, to martial arts. I think it will be on the Tuesday. So, let's make a little box for that. Um, I will pop that here, because it happens after school. Um, and I have a little sticker that I use for this, but we'll add the deco stickers in in a minute. So that's going to be for then. And I'm going to, in that case, have um, my mother-in-law have the boys on the Tuesday. Um, I think, let me think now. My mother-in-law, that was what the whole point of this was, such a rambler. Um, my mother-in-law looks after the boys two days a week. We pay her to. Um, so I can get things done around the house, get my planning done, get the gardening done, all that jazz. It's a luxury. I'm very aware of that. Um, but it just, I mean, I think it's probably something that most grandparents do anyway. But we pay my mother-in-law because she moved over from Barnsley, which is like an hour and a half drive away, so that she could help with childcare. And um, she did look after the boys whilst I was working and we paid her then because we'd pay a nursery anyway. But now that I'm off, we don't want her to just be without income. So that's the story there. So I think I'll have her look after them on Tuesday and on Thursday. And it gives me like a little break um, in between each day. So yeah, let's do that. Which means Tuesday, martial arts. Wednesday, I'll be with the boys at home, doing having like a homey day, going in the garden and things like that, weather permitting. Thursday then, and we'll have the boys. So I'll make a note of that as well um, on this one. Come here. So easy to peel up, but they really love to like flop down when you're not ready to stick it. There you go. So we have that one. The weekend is this nice open box that we've not actually got any plans for, I don't think. Oh yeah, we have. Yes, we have. My friends are coming over on that weekend. So I'm really excited to see them. It's been too long. I'm going to put, give me a sticker, get off, a box right across the middle here. Because we're going to be seeing them um, both days. Okay, it's wonky again. Why can't I do which trade? Okay, and then I'm going to use one of these little icon madriggers, these tiny little cute ones down here. We're having a bouncy castle. Uh, when are we having the bouncy castle club? I think we said Sunday, but it's one of those days. And because this is such a fantastic sticker, we can... Uh, mm, do you know what? I'm going to figure out what day it is and then stick it on one day actually because I think it's the Sunday that the bouncy castle is coming or maybe the Saturday but don't doesn't really matter um oops. we're getting a bouncy castle for the garden so the kiddles can play because between us we have four children um so I'm gonna make a note of that um oh actually maybe next week maybe 
and we'll have the boys on the Friday because I think I said we were going to go to a class with yeah okay yeah okay so we'll have Tuesday and Friday um which makes sense because we have I'm going to a bouncy class <laughs> what is my brain today if you've got this far and not thought what a moron is, is this girl then well done um bouncy class it's not a bouncy class it's like a full you know like big bouncy castle place and i'm taking my two-year-old to that with my friend and her three-year-old so we're gonna go there so those two days makes more sense um lights just gone again apologies rather than be really concerned about where these boxes go they're all beautiful so i'm just going to pop them all over the place and we'll find something to put there which probably isn't the best way to go about doing it but i'm going to do it anyway right so i'm going to put this down here like so followed by a little tracker i love these little trackers they're so cute helps if you put them on straight holly um, what are you guys up to at the end of May 2021? We all thought it would be way over by now. And we're starting to get there, aren't we, here in the UK and in England? Um, but there's a lot of scary stuff going on um, in terms of the new variants and whatnot. So um, keep safe, obviously. But let me know what your plans are. Let me live vicariously through you, especially if you are childless and frilling around the country doing exciting things. Because um, as much as I love my boys... They do stop you uh, well they shouldn't have to stop you but they stop us um, from um doing lots of things that we used to do just like getting up going up doing things spontaneously etc etc absolutely wouldn't change them for the world but i would absolutely love to hear what you guys are doing um to keep yourselves occupied through the month of may and june um pop this down here as well so cute. We don't have many plans. We are essentially um, going to spend a lot of time with family, a lot of time together at home. Um, my husband's now working, so he's going to have to book time off. I have, well, I'm on maternity leave. I was going to say I have um, some holidays off, which I do normally because I'm a teacher, but um, I also have it off this year because I'm on maternity leave so no need for me to um worry about that at all because I'm going to be off anyway and I think we're going to try and do like different parks different farms go to different places in the countryside and explore I would love to go to some more national trust places this year so if you know of any that you definitely recommend that are sort of near enough the northwest for me to go car journey with boys in the car <laughs> three boys <laughs> um let me know um, because I love stuff like that, like near my old house was Lion Park, um, Dunham Massey, and what are the other ones? Tatton Park, you know, all of those different places, I love stuff like that. So let's crack on now and just get these in, because I'm spending a lot of time deliberating and really it doesn't matter. We will find places for things. As and when. We need to. perfect that's that and then up here I think I'm going to be repurchasing this kit because I absolutely love it so pretty I don't know if the artwork is exclusive to Harry Wright Designs but that's not the artwork is beautiful but it's the foiling and the where the foiling is it's just so pretty I just really can't fault the way Harry does that my voice is sounding really throaty. We, um, because my son's martial arts was cancelled on Saturday because her his um, teacher was ill. So she cancelled the class and because they go three times a week and Saturday is their mandatory day, um, they said you can go three times next week. So I had to take him twice this week, which I really did enjoy. Um, but my throat's killing because it's all sort of, you know, shouting out the moves to them because it's quite interactive for the parents the parents are on the mat as well um especially more so with covid and things like that um but yeah it's you know we did this week we did the right right cross punch and the right cross hook 
which before this week, let me tell you, I wouldn't have had a clue about. But now I'm quite the expert. Um, so it's all sort of telling them when to go, when to punch and praising them. And to keep sort of the energy high, they play really loud music whilst you're doing the exercises um, and doing the drills and stuff like that. And so you have to shout over them, which just makes it harder to do. And your throat definitely does uh, take it the sort of beating from that. Okie dokie. I'm absolutely loving this still. It's so pretty. And I think that one of the reasons that I'm not very um, eloquent today is because I'm just spending the entire time staring at the kit. Um, I'm going to put this here. Nope. Makes sense to put it at the beginning of the week, doesn't it? I'm going to put that here. This here. That's wonky. Random, but has anyone uh, read The Wonky Donkey? <laughs> it's a children's book, but it's quite hilarious. I think it went viral a while ago. Um, but yeah, I'm really into it. It's really funny. My son lost his head off. Right, I'm going to do meals on that. And then... Last couple of bits and bobs. I will make a little checklist here of things to get ready for the weekend because, like I said, we're seeing our friends. Um, this cute little foiled sticker there. I'm going to put two of those down there. I think they're so cute. Like that. And then couple more bits and bobs. Yeah, this will be a games night. I can foresee it. Um, and then we'll have some of the scalloped edges because I'm obsessed with them. These are just really great to sort of put little deco stickers in the middle of. To fill up a little bit of space. And this one as well. Oh, that light's better. I feel like I'm having a crisis of confidence for this video. I've just, every so often I'm like, oh, you're just making no sense. You're waffling. So sorry, Tivo. Um, if this video makes it up and I don't completely change my mind about posting it because I'm such a waffler. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you sticking with me. I have these tweezers in my hands, but I'm not actually doing very much with them. <laughs> okay. And then the last one, because I just can't not use it. This little bow. Uh, oh, I know, because there's going to be a game site there and I'm going to use that. Here, put it here. Okay, that's how it looks. I'm obsessed with it. It's gorgeous. It looks more than what I thought it would look. Um, Actually, I'm very quickly going to use these little icons that I said I was going to, because I'm going to take pictures on so for Washy Wednesday. Oh, I wanted a skinny strip there. And this one. Come on, off we come. Hmm. Have it there. Got my little camera here for Washy Wednesday. There. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm going to put my little wine glass for. Saturday night or Friday night or Sunday night. <laughs> Any of those would make sense. Um, I'm going to put it here. Okie dokie. Right. Are we going to need any more of those icons? No. Here we go then. Right, I'm going to go ahead again and take some pictures of this without my writing on and then we'll start adding in writing and deco stickers from Papershire basically um, and maybe a couple of other shops because... Uh, most of the stuff that I use from Paper Shire, as you probably know already. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then we'll be on to the next stage of the plan with me. Right, so stickers are assembled. Let's get going. We have got um, so much going on this week. 
Okay, so one thing I know is that this sticker is going here for martial arts, for me taking Grace into martial arts. So that's why I got that one out. Um, it is Brissette. Uh, is it both? No. Oh, sorry, the table's really shaky. Um, it was bin day this week, which means next week it's just recycling. So next Tuesday, we just have recycling. There we go. Um, and then we've got uh, my husband taking Grayson to martial arts on the Saturday. Um, we have got... Okay, put that one away now. Just trying to work my way through what we have to remember for this week. I absolutely love these little vanilla chores and I, I think I'm going to have to make like um, a little insert maybe that's got them all on and then I tick off when I've done them or something like that because I just don't seem to be able to figure out how to use them without using them all. Um, cute little baby is going here and I'm going to make a note like I did on this week of when he is feeding, like his average feeds. So this week, because we're now on Wednesday, he's sort of waking up once about 4 a.m. for a feed in the night. So I'm just going to keep track of when he is sleeping and feeding and things. So that is those. I'm going to get this little party girl here for nine o'clock <laughs> over at the weekend there. Now, this is the YouTube bits, filming and planning and things like that. So those four are all for that. Um, I was still watching Grey's Anatomy. Me and my husband. So I'm going to pop that down here that we're watching Grey's Anatomy. I think I did that last week as well. Yeah. Um, it'll be a while <laughs> because it's so long. Um, and then I also make a note here of books back to school for my son on a Tuesday so I'll just make a note here books back on Tuesday and then I did want to do a day where I cleaned all of the things so clean the microwave descale the kettle etc etc but I think I'm going to put them on my daily plan in my um, functional planner because there's just not enough space similar to um, using up these as well so I might come up with maybe like a tab that I, ins that I laminate and insert and use my transparent dots to mark off when I've done certain things so we'll see how I work with that I'll let you know if I figure out a system and so now um, I also wanted so that's going to be about the books and this one's going to be about plants oh, I haven't got any room to put it hmm. I'll figure out where I'm putting plants in a minute because Monday, Monday I could do some planting with Theo. Yeah, let's do some planting with Theo on Monday. So as far as I'm aware now, I think Tuesday is going to be when I'm just looking after the boys and I said Friday, didn't I? Tuesday, Friday. Excellent. Right. Which means that on Tuesday, um, I am going to be able to film... And I'm going to put here, film. I'm just going to use the icons rather than write because I don't like my writing anyway. And I'm going to put this little sticker because I'm going to be swapping from my pink. Let me just show you. My peony functional planner, which is this one, to my thistle for summer. So we're going to use this for spring, this for summer and come um, autumn. I'm going to get myself another one and I'm not sure which yet, but I will when it is time. Um, oh, the Wednesday. I've got a doctor's appointment. Um, so I'm going to ask Ange to look after the boys again that day, which would be nice. Um, just for the morning. So that's what this can be for. Um, I'm going to put a video up on Wednesday as well. I'm not sure which video it will be, but I will put a video up on Wednesday. Probably be me setting up for June in my thistle planner. Um, Thursday, 
I can be what did I say this was going to be for I think I might put my little edit sticker there and I'll edit the video that I filmed there so it can go up here that makes sense and then I'll have an extra video which I will film on Friday um, I'll pop that here oh no hmm I'll be able to film it at some point on Friday film and edit on that same day and then I'm going to put a video up on YouTube on Saturday mm, yeah I'll leave that there and then here's going to be getting ready for people to come over to the house because now we are allowed to have people at the house and it's super exciting so I'm going to pop you on time lapse write out all those things that I need to write out and then I will end the video so here we go let's finish off And that is how it's looking so far. I've totally blanked and forgotten some of the things that I was meant to write on here, but it will come back to me. Um, so Thursday, I have no idea what I was supposed to write. I've just had a complete mental blank, but this is how it will look so far. And I love it. I'm obsessed with the kit. I actually do quite like it, even with the writing on. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this plan with me. If you haven't checked out how it write design, do make sure to do that when the shop opens again. Um, I can't wait for it to open again. <laughs> um, and yeah, let Harriet know that I sent you because um, I just think she's fantastic and definitely worth checking out if you haven't already done so. So thank you so much. Have a happy and healthy week, everyone. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.